Well, I've made a couple of videos now about the Tamron uh, 15 to 30 um, F 2.8. Um, I said it was exquisite and uh, sublime and. Uh, Man, I'm so glad that Tamron is uh, all these years have kind of been neck and neck, always superior to Sigma. But uh, I got to play with one of their prime lenses for a few minutes a few weeks ago, and uh, that's really going to knock it out of the park. But Tamron 70 to 200, 2.8 VC. This one also has VC uh, vibration control, image stabilization. It doesn't matter what you want to call it; they're all the same principle. Slight uh, variance on design. Um, but I haven't changed my mind on the Tamron to 1530, except that it's actually gotten better. After much use, uh, I think I've been using it now for two and a half months, I'm even more enamored with it now than I ever was before. The flicker page on this thing has exploded. Um, like the uh, Tikina 100mm macro, which has basically been sold out forever since I declared it uh, basically the best value that can be bought and countless thousands of you bought the Tokina 100mm f2.8 macro the same is going to be the case with this one not because of anything I said but the word is already spread on this one um, Tamron has actually spanked the ass of Nikon on this lens relative to their 14 to 24 um, 1424 has been dethroned obviously this is a large honking beast it is eleven hundred dollars versus nineteen hundred dollars for the fourteen to twenty-four. Um, technically, this is especially at thirty. Uh, the the T-stop rating on this versus the F-stop rating, which most people never think about or even know about, is actually closer. Is basically right at F three point five at thirty millimeters. I mean, the front element on this, while it's rather huge, is certainly not equivalent to the fourteen to twenty-four and. Uh, at uh, 15 millimeters, it's not exactly a true 2.8. Um, it's a half a stop slower than that, and it's definitely a full stop slower than that at uh, 30 millimeters. It is uh, right at or very, very close to um, what should be an f3.5, uh, but none of that detracts from this lens. I mean, it's rated at f2.8. Whenever Tamron wants to rate it at, I mean, that doesn't bother me a bit because the corner to corner sharpness, the saturation, it's an incredible lens. So the vignetting beats out the Nikkor 14 to 24. It just spanks its ass. Um, I've noticed that this lens is basically sold out everywhere except for Robert's camera up in Indiana. I know you think I'm giving them a plug, but I'm not. If you want to find one, contact Robert's Robert's camera. Uh, for some reason, even though they're a huge, huge store. And they basically got everything. Uh, for some reason, people aren't considering them like they should be. Um, but this lens, is, you know, this video is not about Robert's camera. I'm just saying, if you're looking for one, give them a call. Um, but uh, my position on this lens has changed. Uh, it has not gone backwards. It has only gone further forwards. And uh, I'm extremely enamored with it. And I can say unquestionably now that this is my favorite wide zoom. Um, Without a doubt. It's got vibration control. The downsides are that uh, it is a huge honker. I mean, this is even sitting on the front of this Nikon D810 with a vertical grip, which itself is a huge camera. Um, it is a huge honker. I mean, it, it's just a fat honking beast. Um, but it is exquisite. And uh, I think current price on it, I forget what I paid for it. I, I haven't had it for too very long. I think it's right at a 1,100 and something. Uh, pardon it. Pardon me for uh, that skipping uh, my memory, but it does have vibration control. It, relatively, it's uh, very cheap. Of course, if you have this lens, you should get insurance on it because you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna find anything to protect the front element for obvious reasons. This is its front lens cap. Actually, it's a two piece. They did two piece on this to reinforce it because otherwise it would be squishy and. Uh, it would uh, fall off of uh, the front, uh, the front element on the front of the lens. So, and it's ABS plastic. Could be polycarbonate. No, I think it's injection molded ABS. I can't remember. Um, so anyway, my position has changed on that. Uh, this is uh, definitely now uh, the f my favorite wide zoom. And as I've said since day one, the second most useful lens that anybody could have uh, is a wide zoom, a really nice wide zoom. So if you get this one, get some insurance on it, you know, in case you drop it or uh, 
you know, you got no front element protection. But uh, it really is. It's this lens. I actually take this lens from the cat's ass to the tits now. <laughs> I would I would rate the Tamron 15 to 30. Unquestionably, the tits. Uh, it's uh, I think I, I don't know. Maybe a dozen. I don't know how many people bought it off my recommendation. But I know at least 15. I mean, who knows who did that never said anything to me. But everybody that has has been incredibly happy and. Uh, I've been happy, but very, very happy, but it's gone from very happy to ecstatic. And uh, that's rare for me because uh, I'm a curmudgeoned old asshole, and it takes a lot to impress me. <laughs> like I said there's an ancient, uh, ancient uh, saying that uh, someone that hates everything, when they tell you that they, something is really awesome, in different words, same thing. Something's really awesome, you should probably pay attention. So. <laughs> In other words, the, the summation is when a grumpy person tells you something is awesome, you should probably peer, peek your ears up or open your eyeballs and take a look yourself. So, Anyway, thanks for watching. The Tamron 15 to 30 is the tits. It's, uh, I, I praise it more highly now than I did when I got it, and I praise it really highly then. And uh, my fondness for it has only grown and uh, absolutely love it. So, If you can't find one, contact Roberts up in Indiana or contact them for anything else. The way Robert's camera also packages their stuff, I won't mention names of other people up in New York City, the way they package stuff, uh, and I mean all of them, all of them. But Robert's uh, has, uh, whoever works as head of their shipping department is awesome because they really pack the hell out of stuff, and they pack it good. So you'll never have to worry about anything being broken in transport, unless the uh, UPS driver has a psychotic... Uh, episode and uh, you know starts whacking your packages with a baseball bat <laughs> you'll never have to worry about your packages from Roberts so no they're not giving me anything so don't accuse me of shilling for anybody I got nothing from them okay I just uh, give praise where praise is due so end of the story I'll stop flapping my damn lips about the Tamron 15 to 30 and it is above awesome it is the tits so thanks for watching catch you later my favorite wide zoom period for many very good reasons. Like I said, only downside is it is a fat honker and you got no front element protection so you should buy insurance on it. And $1,100 plus, I'd say that the lens is a steal because it is just friggin' awesome. Okay, bye. Catch you later.